Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football. Four box, pick your team number 11. Now if you follow the instructions here, you have a chance at some break credit as well. No vet commons ship. Big thanks to everybody here for making the pick your team 11 happen. Chris Maxwell, I think with quadruple last spot mojo, he bought the final four teams all at once. So thanks to him. Thanks to everybody for making this happen. Chad, what's up? Uh, I don't know. If we're going to be relisting that. Maybe. That might end up in a, or that might end up in a basketball mixer or something like that. No, it's all right, Chad. All good. We just got all of our the remainder of that product back from the national. I think we're kind of still came on a huge pallet. I think we're still kind of unboxing or unpacking everything. So once we kind of make sure that we got everything squared away, then we'll see if we're gonna repost any of that that sort of stuff we've been breaking at the national. One. What do we got here? Good luck, everybody. Got a Desmond Ritter. We'll set some of those aside. I think Aiden Hutchinson, I think, is celebrating a birthday today, at least according to NFL Network. Is there Sam Howell, 299 for Washington? Kenny Pickett for Pittsburgh. And a Mal uh, Malik Willis, orange to 149. I wonder if he'll get a shot. That's here, EA and the Titans. It'll be weird seeing Matt Ryan in a, in a Colts uniform. 50-50, David Bell. For the Browns, that's going to go to uh, Adam in the Browns. Like these little mini cards here too. There's Nick Bosa for the Niners, Nestor. And Isaiah Spiller is your rookie autograph. For the Bolts, that's going to be for Oliver and the Chargers. 95 out of 99. Got under the lights. And we got 106 out of 150. Uh, David Ojabo. That's going to be for Adam and the Ravens. And here's Isaiah Spiller again, 83 out of 249, dual relic and autograph. This one doesn't have a team logo on here, but as we just saw, he's going to go to the uh, Chargers. And that's for Oliver in the Chargers, almost like a personal box for you. Oliver, you got both autos, 83 out of 249. Yeah, I guess you're starting a Isaiah Spiller PC, whether you intended to or not. We've got 
Damian Harris to two ninety nine for the Patriots. That's for Karen. And we've got a mini Trey Lance to one twenty five for Nestor. All right, it's box one of four. NFL owners expected to approve sale of Broncos during a meeting in Minneapolis. It's a pretty, uh, pretty rich group there. The Walton family, Waltons are involved. Four. Let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. It's Jerry Judy, it's 299. Got got a mini Terry McLaurin. Another picket rookie card. We got a Bailey Zap. That's for Karen and the Patriots. We got Randall Cunningham. 35 out of 100 for Adam and the Eagles. Got a Jameson Williams to 149. This might be someone to watch on the Lions. And from Alabama, there's Jameson Williams. Dual relic and autograph, speaking of. One ninety eight out of one ninety nine. So both of the, those Jameson Williams will go to Adam in the Lions. There you go, AK. J Dog, what's up? Do I do I think KD's ultimatum to the Nets helps out the Lakers for a Kyrie trade? I I mean, I don't think directly. Indirectly, maybe there's Michael Vick to two ninety nine because I think everyone's just waiting to see what KD does or what happens with Kevin Durant before any other deals happen. So I think he's just kind of backing up the whole the whole process. It's five out of 20. Uh, that's Aiden Hutchinson for the Lions. So I think everyone's just kind of waiting, hey, what's gonna happen to KD? And then I think whatever dominoes are left in the free agent market, I think those will start to fall. But I think a lot of teams involved are just kind of Kind of waiting. Is Najee Harris to 150. And 
which is why I hope that KD situation gets resolved sooner rather than later. Yeah, in my opinion, that's what I think. That, yeah, KD is that first domino. I think there are enough teams that are, that are at least trying for Kevin Durant. So hopefully they figure it out. But if, if you're the Brooklyn Nets, I mean, you're asking for, you're asking for the moon, right? For Kevin Durant. Suppose that they they would try to, you know, and then all the other teams that are trying to get Kevin Durant, they don't want to spend, they don't want to, you know, pay full price for Kevin Durant. So maybe they're thinking, oh, maybe we can wait out the Brooklyn Nets. So now it's just kind of a, now it's kind of a, a sort of a game of chicken. Who blinks first? Who's going to make the move first? Someone going to overpay, or is someone going to get the best deal possible? If he gets traded, where do you think he? Yeah, who knows? Um, I've heard some people say. Um, I've heard some people say the the Miami Heat maybe might have assets and maybe future picks to be able to to move. Ironically, the Golden State Warriors actually have a good pack. Probably have a good package of youngsters and future picks that they could get. KD back. Yeah, and he's also got, what, four years left on his deal, so it's like, if you're almost, I would imagine almost every single GM is at least putting a phone call, whether it's realistic or not, putting in a phone call to the Brooklyn Nets, you know, and, and, and kick the tires. You have to at least try. There's Devin Singletary to 299. So, I mean, this is kind of like almost like Juan Soto situation, right? Here's a dare to tear Drew Brees. One out of 65 for the Saints. Adam Kupperman with the Saints. I mean, everyone, most teams want Juan Soto. But, you know, can, can you deliver the, the, the package of assets to get that player? Everyone's going to at least try, though. Everyone's going to kick the tires. Desmond Ritter to 50. There's uh, Romeo Dobbs to 100 for Green Bay. That will be for Sean Healy. He might, he might get some opportunities. Might get, get, a, get a nice set of targets this year. And we got a Kenny Pickett mini. Nine out of ten. Gold cracked ice mini rookie card. Pretty cute. That's gonna go to Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. That looks pretty cool. Nick Mangold to 299 for the Jets. It's for Adam and his Jets. And we have Alec Pierce, dual relic and autograph. Alec Pierce is a uh, went <clears throat> turning went from a bear cat to a colt, and that'll be for Jack in Indianapolis. Yeah, I like those little mini cards.
Got Jerry Judy to 150 for Denver. Got new owners, Arthur Hackett. I think NFL Network just mentioned uh, not too long ago that, that, would, that they are the richest owners in the league. Here's a Kieran Williams to 125. So we'll see what they do with all that all that money. Ooh, points be randomized to one person in the break. That usually that does take the place of an auto. All right, everyone will have a shot at that. I think they, they do ex they already exist, J Dog. They they do make those mini top loads for those mini cards. We don't really stock those because it's I mean I think it's it's so rare that products have top loaders that that size. We may have a pack or two of those laying around somewhere, but. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm pretty. They have a they have a top loader for pretty much, pretty much everything. I wonder if, uh, if someday it might get inexpensive enough for us to just have a 3D printer and make the perfect size top loader for, for everything. That, that technology might, might present itself in future years, maybe sooner than we think. There's Elijah Moore to 199 for the Jets. Got a Bailey Zapp, 11 out of 20. Another low numbered uh, mini card here for Karen and her Patriots. And we've got a Evan Neal. Rookie autograph for the G Men. That it's going to be for Matthew and the Giants. stack here is Heinz Ward to 125 for Michael and the Steelers. And we have a Jalen Tolbert futures jersey and autograph. I believe he is a uh, Dallas Cowboy. Show me Cowboys. <laughs> Survey says he's a Cowboy, wide receiver for the boys. That's going to go to Nestor in Dallas. 127 out of 249. And I want to say that the that, that Apparently he's been looking pretty good in camp. He'll be a big part of the Cowboys team this year. But there's Bo Jackson to 299. We've got a mini Desmond Ritter to 75. We've got a blue Desmond Ritter to 50, 49 out of 50. That'll be all of those will be for Jack and the ATL. And another Dare to Tear card, LT, Lawrence Taylor. 
A 24 out of 65. And we'll go to Matthew. Good luck. If you dare if you dare to tear, good luck. And last one here is a Kenny Pickett. 56 out of 100. That's going to go to Michael and his Steelers. And there you go, gang. Got another four box legacy break in the books. Appreciate everybody getting into it. Uh, now let's give away some money and the points. So let's flip back to the list here. Now everyone's got a shot at the points. So let's gather everyone's names one through 32. And we'll use one dice roll for both lists. And now let's alphabetize by your first name. You bought an even number of teams, half of those become entries. So Adam bought six teams, that's gonna be three entries. Arthur bought three teams, two count for the promo, that's still an entry. Chris got four, that's two entries. EA got two, that's an entry. Jack got four teams, that's two entries. Matthew got two teams, that's an entry. Michael got two teams, that's an entry. Nestor got two teams, that's an entry. Oliver, two teams, entry. Patrick, two teams and an entry, and Sean, two teams and an entry. All right, so I got Adam, Arthur, Chris, Eric, Jack, Matthew, Michael, Nestor, Oliver, and Patrick, and Sean. Great. All right, so let's roll it, randomize both lists, four and a two, six times. Let's do the points first, 250 points. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and final time, 250 points, going to Jack. There you go, Jack. Four and a two, six times for the money. Top two after six. One, two, three, four, five, and fingers crossed, good luck, sixth and final time. It is Sean and Jack. Congrats to the both of you. $125 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com going your way. I'm Joe. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. That was Pick Your Team 11. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.